light, angels, demons, and everything in between. It's Zora Maxo, and I'm here to show you guys something. And I'm gonna try to edit this video today because these just came to my doorstep, and apparently they're coming to everybody else's doorstep, and I want to be the first one to review it. So, wow cosplay. Bam! I did a review on Doki Doki cosplay over here, so now I'm doing a review on wow cosplay. I guess here, but brands here! And today I'm going to be reviewing some pre-orders that I did back in November for their KDA Moore Akali cosplay and their Mona Majestic from Genshin Impact. I ordered these on November 27th, so back last year in crazy 2020, and they just came to my doorstep yesterday, which would have been February 15th. So it's taken them a little bit of time. Of course, they were on pre-order, and they did say in the pre-order that if you bought the KDA Moore cosplay, it would come earlier. So I'm glad these got to my doorstep. Now let's go through all of it, figure out prices, see if they're good or not, and give you guys my first impressions. Now, first of all, I've never ordered two cosplays at a time. I always order one. And so when this behemoth of a box came to my doorstep, I didn't know what it was until I read that it came from Beijing when I knew exactly what it was. So, in the box, we have lots of things. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So, I did order two cosplays and I ordered the accessories for both cosplays because Uwawo... Uwawo likes to do this thing where they will sell the entire cosplay separately, but then sell like the main accessory or main key point separate. Which I mean like, fine, business move, business strategy, you want to make it seem like it's cheaper so that more people buy it, but that's just me. So, we're gonna go through it piece by piece, go through all of it, and see if you guys want to buy it. So, let's start. So, first thing on the top of the box is gonna be the KDA More Akali backpack. This is a little backpack that goes on her butt, and we're gonna check how much this was. So, the Owao KDA All Out Akali backpack or the little bag, is valued for $18, and if you want to buy this, when you go to select it, it's going to be set B, and it's only going to come with the bag. Set A is going to be the cosplay, and set B will be the bag. So let's go ahead and check this out and see the cool details. So we're getting into the bag. Right off the gate, it is a vinyl type of material. Um, it does have this gemstone in the middle, which is another type of vinyl. These grommets are metal grommets, I can tell because they're cold, and it has a little... Two loops here so that you can hook it onto your belt and they have velcro on them so that you can just clip the belt in instead of having to string it through now let's check the inside do you open you do they open with two metal buttons which is really nice and they don't open from this so don't pull this way they open this way so they go on top of the straps it is lined on the inside, and there's a lot of room to actually put things in, which is really nice, especially for when you cosplay. Like, I just dropped my phone in it, and there's still tons of room, if you can see that far in. <laughs> so, I'm really happy about this. It's really nice, very well detailed. Everything is sewn down very nicely. There isn't any error that I see, other than a few strings hanging off, but then again, those can be clipped off, and no real bad issues like nothing falling apart if i pull on it it doesn't look like anything's gonna fall stuff like that so i think this is good next up we have the mono majestic wig from genshin impact when i bought the genshin impact cosplay it said that if you buy the cosplay it will come with the wig so that was super cool i didn't have to buy an extra wig it came free I will check out the quality of this later. I don't want to pull it out now just because like it'll probably get tangled while I'm sitting, but I will go ahead and throw it on a wig head, throw up some pictures around here or something so that you guys can see. Also something super cool, I'm going to be trying on all these cosplays. I won't be doing it in like full makeup, but I will try them on so that you guys can actually see photos of the cosplays, which I failed to do in my Star Guardian Zaya. But a new video is coming about that with photos from the photo shoot and my final thoughts about that cosplay. It's a lot. <laughs> so next up we have set B from the Mona Majestics cosplay which is going to be her hat. This is a very well detailed hat. It has a lot of nice details that are sewn on. 
On the inside of the hat, you can see that it does have detailing all around. It is sewn in with a lining. There are two little loops here for you to put in clips, which are included to secure to your wig. And also on the inside, I can tell that there is some type of like metal interfacing to keep the hat propped up. I don't remember how she wears it, but, ooh. Okay, one thing I'm noticing. There's a metal piece right here at the front. Again, I don't remember how she wears this hat. Let me go ahead and check. So it looks like that she does wear the hat to the side of her head. And there is one metal piece that is right here on the hat. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to secure it to something or whatever, but the hat does fit. It does stay on. Of course, you are supposed to clip it into place. There are three elastics around the side to be able to clip it in. It does stay. It is poseable. And the other piece that goes right here on top of the bow is included as well. I'm gonna take off this hat because that little metal piece does hurt my head a little bit. So you will have to secure it on. You can't just wear it like a normal hat, sadly. Next, we have the piece that goes on top of her hat. It is a very hard material. It isn't some type of 3D plastic. I can't tell exactly what type of material it is, but it is really well done, well painted, and looks absolutely gorgeous. Here's some up close of it. I will probably include more up close photo of it or a video of it just so that you guys, if this isn't in focus, because I can't tell. And also on the back, we have two safety pin clips, which are very strong and durable and it looks like they will not pop out. So that's really cool. You're gonna go ahead, when you get it, you're gonna take it and clip it right over that piece right there. And it's nice that there are two pieces, two clips, and they actually go perfectly to each side of the bow. I also just realized the bow does have horse hair inside of it to keep the bow shape. The top pieces do, the bottom do not. So this bow will never fall apart because it is perfectly sewn in place. Next, keeping in theme with Mona, we're gonna go ahead and move on to her cosplay. It does have one of the large Uwawo bags that it comes in and it comes with the tissue paper around it, which means that it's probably a leather material. Now, the Mona Magistus cosplay is, a, is $64 on the Uwawa site. This was during pre-order. I do not know how much it is right now. Post me, we'll probably put it down here if there is any change. And I did buy a size extra large. This is the largest size that Uwawu offers, same with Doki Doki. So make sure to check and see if they are inside your measurements or see if there's any other website that can give you the same cosplay for a larger measurement. Sadly, I don't think that they take any larger measurements for like custom order or anything. So that's a bummer, but let's check this out. Right off the bat, taking it out, I can tell that the top piece is a vinyl material. As you can see, it is very pretty with this reflective purple and the reflective brown. It does have a clear piece right here for the bust, which will make it easier for nothing to spill out. I worked in the wedding dress industry and this, so helpful. Now moving down, it is a bodysuit type material and ladies with big hips, this is great. This fabric is a mesh. It has the details put on it, but it comes right up to the hip, which means that it's probably gonna be very good for if you do have a heavier, not heavier, a larger leg size or butt size. It will help you get into this cosplay. So if you, like me, have a small bust that fits inside a size large, a hip that fits inside an extra large, and a waist that fits inside a medium, this might be good to go. If your size chart is all over the place, whatever. We do have some nice gold detailing on the back as long with more vinyl red pieces on the back. This kind of matte vinyl gold all around the sides and then all the way down to the bottom with a gradiated leg change from the dark brown to purple all the way down. The mesh does continue all the way down. It doesn't stop halfway through, which is really nice. And zipper on the back. It is a hidden invisible zipper, so it may be a little difficult to zip up, but no issues. On the side, we do have some gold diamonds on it to go with more of the detailing and mesh on the sides to actually give more space. Thank God. Next, we have a little purple bow with one of the hair clips and this, I'm assuming this probably goes around one of her ponytails. I don't know her design that well, so don't blame me. Next we have, I am assuming is her cape, it is. 
It comes with the collar piece that goes around. It is fur, no, not fake fur, it's very soft. Has a metal clip or button right on the front. Has some very nice gold detailing on it, very well sewn on. Two layers, top layer, bottom layer, and then the layer that goes down. The top layer does have a gradient fade from purple to red with the red gems on the bottom. It's red underneath. And then the long pieces do have the detailing on the inside of red and gold. The outside goes from a dark purple to a lighter purple with the gold detailing on the end, which is screen printed on and not 3D. And then on the ends, we have the little gold stars. I can tell that the gold stars are hot glued on. This one actually lost one side of it. That's the only issue that I'm really seeing, but it's probably in the bag and it's repairable. So that's good. Let's check the other side. Both stars intact. Let's hope that I can find the ha other half of the store. If not, it's fine. I don't need the other half, but just something to keep in mind of. Next, gloves, just normal black gloves. These do have elastic on the top, which they aren't a very stretchy elastic, so they can stretch to stay in place as opposed to stretching too much to fall. So staying on fine, can do things, and they're gonna be there, so perfect. Next in here, we do have some clear straps, which are for the cosplay. Next, we have another bag of mesh things. I'm not gonna open this because it might be a bunch of small pieces, but we'll check it out when I fully try on the cosplay. Next, we do have a very large and heavy, I'm assuming this is one of her pendants that goes onto her cosplay. There are a lot of small pieces in here, including some gold detailing, more of her large cryo symbol, and then another, I believe it's her necklace. I will have up close video of this when I do put this on or right here in the video so that you guys can see it and I don't lose everything. <laughs> Next, we do have another piece, which is more gold detailing, probably a belt or something like that. Then we have, I'm assuming these are sleeves, maybe, maybe sleeves, sleeves, maybe sleeves, I don't know. They are vinyl at the top with the stars on it, hot glued on, and then the diamonds on the back. It does transition onto a matte stretch fabric at the bottom and it does contain a zipper. There are two in the bag. Next we have a collie. Big bag of collie. It does come in another large bag and on the top we do see the iconic jacket. Woof. This is a very pretty vinyl holographic blue jacket with our grommets on it. It does have the spikes like it does, and it is not tailored to stay out like her jacket is. It did come flat, so you may have to work with it a little bit on that. Um, there is no type of like metal in it to keep it out, but it does look like it stays out fairly well. On the back, we do have the design that comes with it. It is embroidered on, doesn't, like it's doesn't look like it's coming off. It is fully embroidered into it. On the ends, we also have the diamond stuff that's coming all the way down with zippers on the top for detail. And like I said, just a few loose threads on it, but nothing too major. We also do have some little loops on her, on the pockets of the jacket. So that's super nice. We also do have her belt, which comes with actual holes in it to be able to function as a belt. Let's check and see, because if this is going around your hips, if your hip measurement doesn't fall into it, you probably won't be able to fit in it. That's always the worst thing is that some cosplay companies, they'll make it so that it's like so big, but this one does seem to be smaller. The smallest setting is able to go very small in. So that's nice. Next up, we have her under top and her pants. Now, here comes the top. Again, some loose thread. Does have a very nice vinyl kind of crackle effect on the top. More up close video details will come. It is very nice. It does have the zipper on the top, which does zip all the way down. And then you can go ahead and put it back in to zip it back up. I am also noticing that the little crackle vinyl does have a holographic sheen to it. So that is a super nice detail that they included. 
Let me see now if I broke the cosplay or if it will zip. May have broke the cosplay. This is going to be a little bit of an issue for people with either A, long nails, or B, are dumb, like me. So, let's see. This is kind of taking me a little bit. This isn't anything bad on the company. I'm just saying that it might become an issue. Okay, we got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. And then this is the top with the design on it. There are um, pads on the inside, and it is stretchy on the bottom to be able to actually stay in place. Next we have her little gloves which do have some mesh on the inside and they're just kind of half gloves so I actually don't know which way these are supposed to go on. Probably what? Again, dumb. I'm dumb, not the company. Let's see, little gloves, little gloves stay on. Super nice, they aren't moving. It does have holographic detailing around the side, which is sewn on, and they are really good. We do have some jewelry, and thank the Lord, it's clip-on. If some of you guys didn't know or aren't following me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram. But other than that, I got a cosplay from Roll Cost, and it was the baddest Akali, and they sent actual earrings, which were absolutely terrible they were literally so bad like they were real earrings but it wasn't metal it was plastic so they just fell off which was so bad so clip on earrings clip boom earring great earring does come with two of these and an additional little plastic bit that is here not plastic more like rubber so in case you do lose one of them next we do have a little black ring i'm assuming I don't remember because I bought this so long ago. It's either another earring cuff because this is too small to be an actual ring. Next we have the pants, which is always an issue for me. I can never fit in the cosplay pants, so we'll see how this goes. The fabric is a vinyl, kind of not, it's not as vinyl as the other vinyl is. Um, it's more of a little bit of a matte vinyl, it has a little bit of stretch to it. The detailing on it is a duochrome from blue to purple. And then it does have gathering in the back with some form of elastic. And it does have belt loops for your belt to go through. I'm checking the flexibility of them, how much they stretch. Seems like they stretch a lot. We'll try it on when we actually try it. It does have the cutoff leg and then the full leg. So without further ado, let's go try these on. Okay, we're switching positions from inside to outside because I'm going to try taking some photos of Mona for my Instagram and for this video. And this is what I'm going to now deem the fiddle video. The fiddle video is going to be when I take photos in my backyard and it's going to show how much I mess with the cosplay to see like how it would actually be to wear to a convention. And I just quickly put this on. Um, there are some issues that I would love to have help with at a future convention, but this is gonna be the fiddle video. So keep watching. I already did my cosplay fiddle video for Mona. I'm not even gonna try to do one in this. I am beyond upset about this cosplay. The top barely fits. It is literally like there is no space. It barely goes under my chest. The pants, same story, doesn't fit at all. The jacket has already ripped from trying to be zipped up. This cosplay is too small to be labeled as an extra large and should probably be labeled as a large or literally a medium. I am beyond angry because this is the main cosplay that I really wanted and am supposed to dance in, which is absolutely unable to happen. 
this is probably I mean look if I can move my hair these pieces they don't go down they don't really stay down they just kind of stay straight up like this it you can literally TMI for you guys but if I move you can literally see my underwear because they do not cover my butt like these pants are terrible the top is terrible and the jacket Hold up, let me go ahead and show you guys what happened to the jacket. The jacket from trying to be zipped up, the seam has completely split here. Which, why the hell is there even a seam here? There doesn't need to be a seam there. It's, it's limiting the movement of the cosplay, which is really annoying. Um, this is very upsetting because I was very excited about this cosplay. Um, I have the same issue with roll costs, the baddest cosplay. Um, the size of the top is smaller than my hand, first of all. There is literally not, I want, probably about eight inches of fabric there. It's extremely uncomfortable. I would not feel confident wearing this to a convention. So I'm gonna try to get a refund for this because this is seriously really annoying and really pissing me off that companies keep doing this. So let's go ahead and check my bust because I didn't wear a bra when I did the cosplay. So I can use my natural bust in order to decipher if it was correct. So without doing this in centimeters, we are at a 97. If I lax it a bit, we're at a 101, and this gives me space. That gave me no space. So, let me check. Probably about the tightness that it was, was around a 91, which would have fallen in the large category, or even the medium category. Straight up ripped when I tried to zip it. Zip it up. There is zero give in this jacket. This doesn't even stay out like it's supposed to. This doesn't go down like it's... It was tight when it was zipped, which means that if around my bust, if it was tight when zipped, it would have had to have been a 95, which falls under, guess what size? The medium! Now that that dumpster fire is over, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you do want to cosplay these characters or buy this cosplay from Uwawo, make sure to double check. Um, I will go ahead and list my measurements down in the description. If you have close to these measurements, um, I would not suggest getting the second cosplay that I tried on. Um, I'm upset about it. Probably the same issue that Doki Doki had, and that's another video that's going to come up soon. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, my angels, demons, and everything in between. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.